So because you guys have to understand how to add and subtract polynomials. So yeah, exactly. Guys, what we're going to do is I'm going to subtract these, but I'm going to subtract them vertically. All right. Now, I really don't like to um, put these, when I'm doing them vertically, you got to make sure that they're aligned correctly. So I'm going to write this as 7y squared plus y plus 1. That's in standard form. So I like that. Right? I want to keep it in standard form. This is not in standard form because my 3y squared is my highest degree. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this problem minus, I'm going to rewrite this problem below. So it would be 3y squared minus 4y minus 3. Now remember, you're subtracting them. Okay? Now there's two ways you guys could do this. You guys could do it just like this. Say 7y squared minus 3y squared. y minus negative 4y. 1 minus negative 3. That's fine. There's no problem with that. However, I kind of prefer to add. Well, you can't just say you're going to instead of subtract to add. You have to make sure you do um, still align them. But when you distribute that negative sign rather than subtracting. So when I distribute that negative sign, I now get a negative 3y squared, positive 4y, and a positive 3. So now I can add. So let's go and take a look, see if we get the same answer. 7y squared minus 3y equals 4y squared, right? They have the same base and same exponent. y minus a negative 4, that's a double negative, so that gives me a positive 5y. 1 minus negative 3, double negative, gives me 4. 7 plus negative 3, y squared. y plus 4y. 1 plus 4. Either way you guys want to do it works. I usually like to distribute the negative sign and then add vertically. However, if this makes sense to you and you can do it, you notice that I get the same answer. Yes? Well, uh, if you're doing uh, positive 1 plus negative 3, will that equal negative 3? Positive 1. On the other one. Over here? No, no, no. The other, other one. This one. Yeah, remember, it says 1 minus a negative 3. 1 minus a negative 3. Remember, it's a double negative. So when you have a double negative, it turns into a positive. So it just becomes 1 plus 3. Okay, the main important thing, though, guys, when you're adding your terms, you have to have the same variable and the same exponent. You cannot combine if they don't have the same variable or same exponent. All right? Okay, um, we don't have.